Yuri fights so strange. There's nobody like him. Oh, 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 he almost moves around like a guy who wouldn't be good, but he's really good. Defensive back. Oh, combination for Prohaska. Look at that three heavy shots. Now we're going to put it together. We've heard for years that samurai no longer exist. Then Yuri Prohaska came along and proved otherwise. Oh, and Askochene Koleno. I knee. Oh, Toughness shown on each side. Oh. The girl name Denisa is the nickname that stuck to him, but it has nothing to do with kindness. He's not slowing down with his own offense. He's still defending intelligence. From ferocious hooligan street brawls to performing in the most competitive arenas around the world for over 10 years, this modern samurai has earned the glory of the UFC light heavyweight championship belt. After a debilitating right shoulder injury, he was forced to relinquish his title, and now he is back on the hunt for his belt, determined to rip it from Alex Pereira's waist. It's the perfect time to remember how Yuri Prohaska masterfully embodies the kill or be killed mindset. <laughs>
the Russian was the most formidable opponent Yuri had faced before, who quickly introduced him to the beauty of the Russian Sambo. <laughs> After scrambling to his feet, the Czech fighter was taken down again. He threatened with an armbar this time, but submitting a Sambo specialist was a hard pill to swallow. Before you know it, they went into an all-out war on the feet. And on the ground, leaving everything they had in the ring. After 10 minutes of non-stop action, the Russian was visibly tired. And Yuri gained his momentum, ultimately leaving Nimkov too much exhausted to continue after the first round. In the final, only hours away from a heated brawl, Prohaska was matched against Mohamed Lawal. The fight pace against Nemkov took its toll badly, as Denisa was viciously knocked out in the first. <laughs> Prohaska returned the following year in a fight against Kazuyuki Fujita, an MMA veteran who's been around since 2000. The Japanese fighter was no match for the young buck who pulled off a textbook boxing combo that ended the show in the first round. After a one-sided unanimous decision victory against Mark Tanios and a first round TKO versus William Roberto Alves, Yuri wanted to finish the successful 2017 against Carl Albrechtsen, a dangerous finisher with a 6-1 record. The Swedish fighter proved to be very heavy on top as he controlled Prohaska for much of the first round. Oh, Carl's got his, his hand caught. Yeah, wow. Although he managed to deal some damage with heavy ground and pound strikes on the ground and use his hips, get his hips involved. He did not consider that Yuri has the samurai spirit, and in the samurai's code, there is no surrender. The Czech fighter was now angry and back to his feet, where he unleashed more bombs on the opposition than the Germans on Stalingrad. Ultimately, forcing the referee to jump in for the rescue. The shots, hair, flying uh -oh. everywhere. It's it, it's over, it's the over. Referee says that is enough. Right While many athletes dedicate long hours to training in traditional gyms, Bruhaska takes a different path. Na kameni, stal jsem na Pálavě, na Pálavských vrších. Stal jsem si tam velký bágl s lampičkou, normálně s, normálně s lampičkou, olejovou lampičkou. Tu jsem si tam pověsil na takový pařez, rozsvítil jsem si na, na hranu a zkusím 24. Tak jsem šel 24 hodin přední zadní. No. <laughs> During a five-month period in 2018, Prohaska collected the heads of Bruno Capalozza. Biggest mistake you can against Jury. You can't attack him when you have him hurt. He and won't ruin you. It's, it's, a, it's over. over. Jake Hyun. Keep putting the pressure on. Oh, oh another geez. right, left, right, left, right. Land it again. It's in. It. It's over. And Brandon Halsey. Just chasing his opponent down the mat underneath the armpit. Dangerous stuff here. All in the first round. And now it was time for a rematch against the guy who gave him the most devastating loss of his career, Mohamed Lawal, with the inaugural Rise in Light Heavyweight Championship on the line. Lawal reminded Jury of his power in the first. In the pocket though, Frank. Going the right there. But the Czech fighter kept his composure. For two rounds, they played a chess game at close range. Change, put him on his back. Good kick landed by Mo, winding up there. And neither of them was ready to do anything reckless. By the third, Lawal's gas tank was running low, and it looked like Yuri had an extra oxygen cylinder as he bombarded the opposition with missiles. King Mo covering up, King Mo's covering up, Ross is going in there for the finish. Leaving the referee with no other option. And just like that, Ryzen had a new light heavyweight champion. I will represent Ryzen anywhere Ryzen wants me to represent. In October 2019, Denisa found himself in the ring against Fabio Maldonado, a scary boxer with 28 knockouts on his boxing resume, who gave Fedor Emelianenko the fight of his life. <laughs> Yuri started a sequence with a beautiful boxing combo that hurt the Brazilian. 
Nice combination yeah. there by Prohaska. Backing up. Then he steered the victim into an ambush and pulled the trigger. Right hand there is dropping the a nice body shot there by. Leaving the opponent face down on the canvas. Oh, and a nice right landed there. And he yeah, drops. Only two months later on New Year's Eve, the Czech Samurai was scheduled to defend his Ryzen belt against C.B. Dalloway, a BJJ black belt and a battle-tested UFC vet since 2008. Jury stalked Dalloway like a predator, and before you knew it, he launched a torpedo of an uppercut, followed by a vicious left hook that made him bounce off the canvas like a hyperactive beach ball. With a record of 26 and 3 and 25 confirmed kills, Jury was now ready to test his skills in the UFC, and when the big league called, there were no second thoughts. On July 12, 2020, the Czech Samurai was welcomed to the UFC by Volkan Edstemer, a former title challenger coming out of big victories against Ilir Latifi and Alexander Rakic. I mean, who does the most significant work in... Oh! Great left hand from Edstemer! Wow! He can sense it and note... The newcomer lacked respect for the opponent and almost paid the price for it. C.B. Dalloway, Fabio Maldonado... Oh! See what I mean? Yep. It only Denisa quickly recovered and retaliated with ballistic missiles. I like it. Look Beautiful at this. jab. That got fast. Oh, window here for Prohaska. In the closing minute of the first round, they initiated a brawl, which was an overture of what was about to come. Anawa. Ooh. Whoa. Israel Adesanya got Early in the second, after distracting the opposition with a low kick, to get away with some of these unorthodox. Prohaska went upstairs. To sleep with one shot, but the big advantage. And landed a picture-perfect high kick that wobbled the opponent. Side leg kick there and a high kick. Oh. The Czech fighter was determined to capitalize on the moment and went after the opponent with everything he had. And the fundamental one-two combo was all that was needed to seal the deal legally. Went for the flying knee. Oh, there it is! Yuri wow. By sending Udstemir into oblivion, Yuri earned his first performance of the night bonus. Prohaska had no warm-up fights and was thrown straight to the Wolves, as he was set to face Dominic Reyes next, a top contender who gave John Jones the hardest battle of his career. The Czech Samurai started the hunting season with a cross. Like he said, he's not hunting the knock. Oh, 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 right. But soon overextended his body and was taken down as a result. Weidman oh. sat him down. Nice takedown attempt here. Is it tight? Got it. Denisa returned the fight on the feet and retaliated by bombarding Dominic's head. Defensive back. Oh, combination for Prohaska. Look at that. Three heavy now shots. going to put it together. The rest of the round was a one sided pounding in which Jury was the blacksmith. In the second, the fighters decided to go to a brawl and let it all out. Job. Big knee to my body shot. The body then comes Reyes on the run a little bit here. Prohaska senses Prohaska. it. He knows. Prohaska launched a rocket, and a merciless all-out war broke out. And he doesn't care. Oh, wow. Wow. Broken nose, broken jaw. The man will fight all night. How? Danisa was eager to play Russian roulette and was caught with a powerful counter left. Center of the octagon Whoa. goes up, kick, oh. follows it with a left. Oh. That made him turn into a wrestler. Jab from Prohaska. Now he's trying to sense the The American went for a guillotine. Oh, now you're a wrestler. He's on his he's neck. Guillotine, that's deep. My that house is but he was unsuccessful and was soon under a reign of ground and pound strikes. Going down with his own offense, he's still defending intelligently, he's still making it a tough fight. Brohaska was not ready to slow down and went after Reyes like a man possessed. Big Brohaska. shots here from Brohaska. Oh, Big Brohaska. left as Reyes returns to his feet, needs a kick. After delivering some shots in the guard, Jury penetrated Dominic's defense by delivering a spinning elbow from hell. Fire it back. Top this shown on each side has sent him straight to the shadow realm. This fighting spectacle was awarded a fight of the night, and Yuri won another performance of the night bonus and a highlight for the ages. Only a few in history made an immediate impact with the organization to be granted a title shot after only two fights. Jury was given a shot at the UFC light heavyweight title against Glover Teixeira, a high-level BJJ black belt and a true veteran of the sport who's been in MMA wars since 2002. The Brazilian knew where his advantage is and took the fight to his own realm. Oh, nice shot. Body head. 
He tried to cause as much damage as possible, but Yuri displayed great defensive skills. Hopping up and down low. Now what does Yuri have off his back? And exploded to bring the fight to stand up again. Danisa targeted the liver. Share already. But soon was taken down again by the elite grappler, straight to a mount position. Look again and look at that complete with these. Straight into oh, mount. Glover is known as being super heavy on top, and it seemed that this could be the end of Yuri, but the Czech samurai had no intention to compromise and shook Glover off his back. Potentially working on an armbar as you say, Joe. Hey, John. Followed by heavy ground and pound strikes. He's a massive bombs. Oh, Prohashka initiated fire in the second. The last two wins have ended by round two nice and launched himself with a knee that hurt the opponent. And just like that, they jumped head first into a ferocious slugfest. In the third, getting a takedown became harder, and now Glover was forced to accept the battle on the enemy's territory. To share in trouble here, or so yes. it appear. Danisa delivered a massive shot to the body, followed by a left hook. Hands down. Oh, body there. Massive. That forced Tashera to seek refuge on the canvas again. He's gonna be lucky to get out of this round. Yuri played with fire by trying to submit the BJJ black belt and lost his position as a result. I'm trying to by Yuri. Oh my goodness. Oh. Nope, look at that. After receiving shots to the head, the, creativity. the Brazilian was discouraged to keep the fight standing and managed to score a takedown. Yep. He's gonna go for a ride. He adjusted himself to a mount position and attempted an arm triangle choke. Nevertheless, the samurai was not ready to surrender yet and scrambled his way out of there. Oh, no. not at the front. Yeah. Oh, oh. After a non-stop action of constant scrambling, they survived to see the fifth round. The old lion was not done yet and surprised Yuri with a big right hand. Oh! Right Followed by a guillotine that barely slipped. They were back to their feet and Tashera launched missiles to Yuri's head and was catching wind. Oh. that culminated with a takedown. Yeah. Somehow the Czech samurai escaped the lion's den by reversing the position. He then went for the neck and squeezed the life out of Glover. In a fight of the year for 2022, Yuri Prohashka was crowned as the new UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. And no! Destiny dealt a harsh blow as Prohashka suffered a debilitating right shoulder injury. With a heavy heart, he was forced to relinquish his title, leaving fans and fighters alike wondering if this knockout artist would stage a triumphant return and reclaim his throne. Luckily, Prohashka is set to square off against the former UFC middleweight champion Alex Pereira in a title bout for the vacant UFC light heavyweight championship, and we're all thrilled to see how far this modern samurai can go in the UFC. Hey, if you liked the video, knock that like button out, subscribe to the channel, and squeeze that notification bell.